Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the object browser. This is SDK Basics. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have SDK 12 loaded on your computer and that you've downloaded sdkbasics.vdf. It should look something like this. Today, we're just going to talk about the object browser, which is located on the left side of the opening window. Uh, I've marked it here in the red box. For today's presentation, I'm going to talk about it using the PowerPoint, and then I'm going to go to my SDK, and I'm actually going to demonstrate that. So the first thing we're going to do is blow this up a little bit, and uh, we're going to start by looking at SDK Basics property. This is the property of the v uh, VDF itself. If you right click on the words SDK Basics, the arrow is pointing there, you will get the window open that's shown in the lower left corner. Uh, first of all, you never change anything on these windows. Uh, these VDFs will be sent to you or you'll be able to download them during the Stellar Explorers competition. And we will provide all the information in here. You should never add or delete or change um, the, the actual objects in here. The first thing we're going to point out is for this scenario, it covers a two week analysis period. Uh, during uh, most scenarios, there's a time period where we're looking for the best results. And in this case, it's two weeks from November 1 to 15 in 2017. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you that we put a location on here. In this case, the city of Chicago. Again, if you right click on the name Chicago, you'll get a window that shows in the lower left and notice it gives you the latitude, the longitude and the altitude. By the way, the longitude of negative 87 means it's 87 uh, degrees west longitude. Now, uh, we're not going to talk right now about the SAT one and the sensor one that's located on there. We'll do that in a future presentation. Okay, let's go to my SDK. This is SDK Basics, and I'm going to go through the same steps. If I right click on SDK Basics, notice I get the analysis period 1 to 15 November 2017. As I mentioned before, never change any objects in here. I'm going to point out that you can minimize this and down at the very bottom of the SDK window, you'll see SDK basics. If I click back on there, this little window comes up and I can maximize that. Or if I want to get rid of it completely, I can right click on the button at the bottom and hit close. Now, You'll notice here that only one window's up. I'm going to explain how to do that when I get to the 2D, 3D window presentation, but I'm going to hit tile vertically and it's going to come back to the original position. I'm now going to do the city of Chicago. Again, I'm going to right click, hit properties. Notice this window comes up with the lat long and the altitude. Again, you never want to change anything in here. I will point out that on some competitions, you'll have multiple locations, and there are going to be times when you actually have an area as opposed to a specific location. In this case, I'm going to close it by hitting the red X button on the Chicago position. So what we did today is we looked at the object browser. We showed you what was there. We showed you SDK Basics talks about the scenario and Chicago's location. In future ones, we're going to talk about what you can do with SAT1 and Sensor1. 